what's happening what's popping what's going on everyone welcome back to another great edition of simone with the spitzers i'm simone bringing guys the daily sports talk so if you're new here if you're old here and you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet make sure you stop what you're doing leave a comment subscribe keep rocking with me also make sure you check out the links down below the first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel the second link is to shop the official small with the spirit swords a merch collection get you the classic tee the wavy tee or the fly dye crew neck that i've been rocking lately this comes in white black and green so shop that before the season and lastly guys turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming like boom 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 and you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. Once we finally start going live, y'all, we never be going live. We got to do better. <laughs> got to do better. But y'all, let's get into this video today. So today, it's not really right now at the time that's recording because OTAs are resuming today. So there might be some more news and tidbits that come out of that. But right now, nothing really booming going on. Um, nothing really booming going on right now. But there are some things that we do have to talk about. Just some little things here and there. It's kind of like that day of class. You know when you have like a fun class and the class be lit, the teacher's fun, but then you have that one day like where you got to just take a whole bunch of notes and the teacher like, just bear with me y'all. If we take all these notes today, then we won't have to do nothing else for the rest of the week. That's kind of what today is. You know what I'm saying? We just got to talk about a little something, talk about a little she, but ain't nothing exciting going on today. But y'all, so the biggest thing that I had to know, oh, The biggest thing that I have to talk about right now is our guy, Jalen Rager. We got to talk a little bit about some special teams. So our special teams coordinator, Michael Clay, he had some real in-depth conversation with the reporters um, the other day after OTAs. He had a lot to say about what to expect from the special teams in 2022. And we didn't really have anything special going on on special teams. And no, I did not do that on purpose. I just literally realized we, our special teams was not special. We was average teams, basic teams, regular teams, mid teams. You know what I'm saying? Well, nothing special about what was going on on what's supposed to be special teams. Um, so that is an area we do need to see some in, in 2022, but our guy, Jalen Rager, last season, Jalen Rager started off pretty much um, last season. He was playing wide receiver, but he was also spending a lot of his time at punt returner. And then we had Quez Watkins as our kick returner. So Quez <clears throat> was doing a lot of kick returning. Jalen Rager was playing wide receiver, but then he was also um, punt returning. But towards the end of the season, Jalen Rager was pretty much doing it all. He was doing um, the kick returns and punt returns. And we know he had those two drops um, in the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, but y'all, honestly, a lot of people had a bad game against the Bucs, so we can't just only beat up Jalen Rager for that. But y'all, we know a lot of us want Jalen Rager off this roster. We know a lot of us want him off the roster. And shoot, it's only June. By the time we get August, September, he very well could be off the roster. But right now, he's on the team, so there is a place for him. And Clay kept going on and on and on and pretty much solidifying the fact that Jayla Rager is our guy um, on special teams moving forward. So the reporters asked uh, Michael at the camp, at OTAs, they asked him about um, Devin Allen, who was the Olympic um, track and field guy. He played wide receiver at Oregon, but then he was in the Olympics for, for track and field. And then also about Britton Covey, our undrafted free agent receiver out of Utah. So they were asking um, Clay about those options at kick returner and punt returner. And will we see um, Devin Allen on special teams this season? Or will we see um, Britton Covey on special teams this season? And honestly, y'all, Michael Clay pretty much basically shut all that G down from the reporters and was basically saying Jalen Rager is our best option and he likes what he's seeing from Jalen Rager. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're not going to trade Jalen Rager. Of course, Jalen Rager is on the roster right now. So, of course, these guys, Michael's not going to get up there and say Jalen Rager sucked last season. I can't wait for this guy to get off the roster. Like, of course, he's not going to say that. So, the fact that he's gassing up Jalen doesn't necessarily mean we're not going to trade Jalen. You guys know they just saw PR. You know what I'm saying? They got to say what sounds good. But honestly, if we're looking at our Rasta the way it is right now, Jalen Rager probably will end up being um, 
will probably end up being our go-to guy on special teams last season. So last season, he led the team in punts and kick returns. His longest uh, punt returns for 39 yards and his longest kick return was for 44 yards. So let's get into some specifics a little bit about what was asked and what Michael Clay said. So the reporters asked him about Devin Allen. Can we see Devin Allen um, on special teams? Obviously, okay, not obviously, but we know our wide receiver room is set and we got a bunch of wide receivers on this roster right now. I think 13 wide receivers on the roster. And we know Devin Allen will probably see zero snaps on offense, in my opinion, if he's even on the team when the, when the season starts. Um, so where would you put a guy like that on special teams? You know what I'm saying? If he does make the team, which he probably won't. Uh, but y'all, Michael Clay was obviously flabbergasted when they asked him even about the option of having Devin Allen. And he was like, Devin Allen playing on special teams? Basically, no. He said he hasn't played football since 2016 um at Oregon and the fact that and it's not just he hasn't played uh in a game y'all he hasn't been involved in any offseason training or nothing like that so uh Michael Clay was basically saying there's no chance we'll see Devin Allen on special teams this season um they don't want to see him get hurt he's got to ramp up really 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 um ramp up to get into football shape but that kind of has me confused guys because why do we why do we even like bring this guy on the team if there's no real role for him? If you honestly think about it, um, there's no role for him. So I don't even know why they're dragging this guy along through OTAs and, and everything like that. I really don't understand because the way that Michael Clay put it is that we won't even see this guy um, this season. So I don't get it. Um, I really don't get it. Um, but Britt and Covey, we got Britt and Covey. Um, from as an undrafted free agent out of Utah this season. This guy is pretty quick, um, but he is undersized. Um, so he was asked, Michael Clay was asked about seeing Britton Covey this season on special teams, and he basically kind of shut that down. He didn't say, he basically was saying, like, no shade to Britton, but um, he's got to get used to the NFL speed and the NFL level at um, on special teams. Obviously, guys coming at you faster on special teams and guys coming at you harder, hitting harder on special teams. And Michael was like, it's a big difference from, you know, the competition he saw at Utah and the competition he'll see in the NFL. He said no, basically he said no shade, just truth. Um, and then he went on to reiterate the fact that he really, really likes what he saw. He said he really liked what he, what he saw last season from Jalen Rager, and he think Jalen Rager did a really good job. Now, he did mention the drops that Jalen Rager had, um, especially against the Tampa Bay game, but he said um, it's going to be hard to find any special teams. <laughs> I hate special teams. You want to be like specialist, but you don't want to say special team specialist. But it's hard to find any kick returner or any punt returner in the NFL that doesn't have dro drops on their stat sheet or whatever, whatever. Um, but he did say that he wants to see Jalen Rager being more consistent, getting the 10 yards and getting down and wants to see him more consistent, obviously, with the ball control and ball security, which basically means the drops, even though he said he wasn't concerned about the drops. But he definitely said he wants to see Jalen Rager um, being more consistent in that area. Um, but, yeah, y'all, so basically right now it's looking like um, <laughs> Jalen Rager's the guy on special teams and honestly I'm not mad at that if y'all want to stick him anywhere <laughs> stick him on special teams you know what I'm saying um don't want to see him obviously because I don't know last season y'all I just feel like Jalen Rager getting so many targets I don't know what comfortable like I don't know what Jalen Hurts will see in Jalen Rager like force feeding Jalen Rager when Devonta's waving for the ball but obviously for whatever reason Jalen Rager distracts Jalen Hurts on offense because Jalen Hurts, if Jalen Rager's out there, Jalen Hurts want to throw to him. And I think it's a Jalen Jalen thing. I don't know. Maybe Jalen Rager got some dirt on Jalen Hurts and like, give me the ball or, you know, I'm going to spill the beans on what you had going on. You know what I'm saying? But keep him off the offense because, like I said, when he was on the field, he was getting targeted and way too much, way too much. Um, so, like I said, if he's going to be on the Rasta, um, put him on special teams. I'm fine with that. But, like I said, as of right now, just looking at the roster, um, and I want to see Quez on offense. I want to see Quez on offense, not necessarily on special teams. So that's good. Uh, more Rager on special teams, more Quez on offense, and that's that's good in my book. But, y'all, there's going to be more stuff coming out, of course, from OTAs, more reports, more depth chart items and things like that. Like I said, it wasn't really, like, exciting to talk about. But it's just stuff we need to know. And honestly, if Jaylen, like I said, Jalen Rager could end up being on the, the roster next season. If he does, he's going to have to have a role. And we want him to get acclimated and get comfortable um, and everything like that before, you know, August and training camp and whatnot.
But <laughs> y'all, make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check out the links down below. Buy me the copy of Feel It Jam. Shout out to Fisher Smoke with the Spizzoids, a merch collection. Tell us about you guys next time. Bye.